Hello there and welcome back to First Man Photography in this absolutely stunning location that we're going to explore today and do some landscape photography. But about seven years ago to the day, I bought my Canon 5D Mark IV. Over the years, I have toyed with replacing it, but have never quite been able to justify doing that because it still does pretty much everything I need it to do. So in today's video, I wanna share with you a few examples of things we might actually need to improve our photos rather than just stuff we want. Before we get going today though, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a domain name, a website, or an online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Well, no sooner have we started than it starts to rain. And one thing, if you are a landscape photographer, that I think you definitely do need is good clothing and footwear. The clothing that I carry with me when I'm doing photography is sort of a, a layered system. The combined cost of all of that is probably more than the rest of my wardrobe at home put together, including suits and stuff. Because if you have the right clothing for the conditions, you can pretty shoot much shoot in all types of weather and be comfortable. I think footwear is super important and important as well. We use these sort of scarper ones here. They are not cheap, like I say, but I literally never have to worry about my feet. And when you are out in the hills and out trekking like this, that is super important. Right, I'm set up for my first shot of the day and <laughs> the light is changing all the time, but at the moment we've got the absolutely glorious sunlight and I have some really rather nice views all the way around me, but this is the scene I'm going to shoot because I love those cliffs and that sort of curve of the landscape all around like that. I think that works really well. Then I've got some of the just starting to flower heather in the foreground and I'm focusing on that and I think it's gonna make a really nice image. And that is really the thing. That's what this video is kind of about, making images and removing excuses. And I'm probably one of the worst for this because when I became a full-time photographer, it was always my dream to have a studio. Now, the studio I had served a purpose for a while, but I think if I'm totally honest, it's something I wanted rather than something that I really needed. And that's the thing. It became a distraction because it was full of stuff. It was full of gear. It was full of excuses and the harsh truth of it is that you don't need a new camera to take better pictures what you need to do is get out like this get out and experience the landscape get out and make some photos whether you're a landscape photographer or a street photographer or a portrait photographer it doesn't really matter but the new camera is not going to be the thing that helps you it's doing it's being proactive and getting out there and making images i'm saying this as much to myself as to anybody else because in the past i have been very guilty of doing that. Anyway, let's talk about this photo because I'm quite excited about it, mainly because I wasn't really quite expecting the heather to be looking as good as it is. Uh, and I think it's gonna anchor this image. I'm gonna have to wait for a little bit of sunlight because earlier on it was nice little patches of light, a little bit of contrast, a little bit of, mm, not moodiness, but a bit of atmosphere and a bit of drama in there. So I'm gonna wait for a little gap in the clouds again, which I think will come. F11, 1 60th of a second, ISO 100. Like I said, focusing on the heather. It's uh, all nice and green and purple, so I'm gonna try and make that work for it, work for me. I am as well bracketing. There's some lovely triangular shapes in there. Those angles, the form of the cliff, the really quite nice clouds in there as well. It's all looking really good. I think it's gonna be a really good image to uh, mark the first shot of the day. I told you the conditions were changeable. Can you see that uh, lovely looking rainbow over there? It's a shame about that mass though. Another thing I don't think you need, especially if you're doing landscape photography, is speed. I think spending time in the landscape, slowing 
everything down, absorbing the things around you, absorbing the landscape and the environment and the conditions are what's going to make the very best photographs. But all my run and gun photography now and any casual photography I do is on the phone. I've got the uh, iPhone 14, I think it is, because my previous one uh, died on this video here because it was soaking wet in my pocket all day. But this scene here just looks fantastic. So I'm going to just compose a little image up on the phone, snap that lovely bit of dappled light in the background there, and I think for a quick snapshot, that is going to be really rather nice. Shit, I've just crashed the drone. Uh, I'm assuming I didn't have it quite high enough. It's just gone into the heather there, but, oh man, I hope I can find it. Crashed it a couple of times before, but I always knew where it was. The heather's so long. Oh no, I have to have a proper good search around. I can't see it anywhere. Although the phone says it's disconnected, I think the controller is still connected, so maybe if I try and spin it up, I'll be able to hear it. Oh, what was that? In the heather. Oh, I think we might, might be okay. The heather must have proved a fairly soft landing. Oh, I'm not going to lie, that is a relief. I cannot afford a new drone. I'm glad the drone is still working, but I am in a location I've not been to before. It's a bit of a scouting mission, really, and it's including quite a long hike. I started, like, way down there, over the kind of the other side of that ridge, come up the valley, and then I'm going all the way around, I think. It's just I'm trying to find somewhere that's going to be suitable for the sunset, but one thing that I need, this is probably quite personal to me, with my landscape photography particularly, is I need to get away from the car. Any time I'm having to get in and out of the car all day, I'm not doing my best work. So I need to be out in uh, the hills like this, hiking around, exploring around, having adventures. And uh, yeah, that's definitely how I make my best work. Right, just while I'm setting up for my next shot, one thing that is very useful when you're doing landscape photography is having a good bag, a good waterproof bag. I use this Shimoda Design Action X70. It's almost completely waterproof, gets everything in that you need. It's the most comfortable bag I've ever worn and allows me to do big hikes like this, carrying quite a lot of weight in relative comfort, although getting more fit recently has definitely helped too. Just looking into the bag though, there is something in there that I don't think you do need, but you may want, and that is the old filter system. I hardly ever use filters these days, hardly ever. I don't use ND filters, I just uh, bracket, like most of my shots have been today, and I don't do that much long exposure anymore, although I did use them on last week's video, so if you're into long exposure and panoramas, check out last week's video. I think you will enjoy it. But uh, I am set up for a shot here, and it's kind of the sort of shot that I really love where you have those intersecting layers and triangles as you go down through the valley, past those different peaks, I love those forms all interacting with each other. And then it still has some of that beautiful dappled light coming in from the side there, which I just think is making that look really, really beautiful. So I put the 24 to 70 on, and then I'm zooming in a little bit to get into that detail, into that shape and form. That's what I want from this image. So light is looking fantastic at the moment. Just focusing on that nearest cliff. Uh, F11, 1 60th of a second, ISO 100. I will have a look at that, yeah, just beautiful. A little bit of editing, might even do it black and white, I'm not sure, but we'll have to see what works. Uh, 
I'll show you that now. Now I'm just waiting for the sun to set. It's warm, it's beautiful, it feels very nice on my face. But I think it's a really good time to remind you that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Now, in my opinion, Squarespace is just the best place for photographers to build their own website, mainly because it's just so easy to do. You can use one of their beautiful templates and then put your images and a bit of your text, in, text on there. And in no time at all, you will have a unique and beautiful looking website. And it's gonna be, you're gonna be presenting your images in exactly the way you want. Unlike on social media where you're not in control, with Squarespace you can design it just how you want and it, yeah, it's gonna look beautiful and show your images off just the way you want. You can start with a very simple gallery, then if you want to, you can upgrade to an online store where it's just as easy to do and you can start selling things like prints or books or courses, anything your heart desires. You can also now run a subscription service using their member section and keep people coming back to your website time and time again. So go to squarespace.com to check it out or use the link down below. And then if you like what you created, use the offer code FIRSTMAN to get 10% off your first purchase and give Squarespace some love for sponsoring this channel. Right, I've, uh, I've mucked up because the walk I had planned today is physically not possible. So I'd planned to be at the other side of the uh, stream, like I said, because that's the side the light is on, that's the side the evening light's on. This side of the valley is in shadow now. So, <laughs> Uh, I'm having to adjust my plan a little bit, and that is the reality of doing landscape photography, and I want to share that when I can on these videos. So what I've done is sort of climbed up onto the moor, where there's, we're in the middle of this rather beautiful heather, so not quite the image I had planned, but it's going to be nice. I think it's still a nice view behind there. Uh, we've got the heather in the foreground, camera set up, as you can see, and I'm going to try and make the best of it. And at this final stage of the day, about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so before sunset, I am reminded that, I'm reminded about what matters because the piece of gear that we buy, that new camera that we buy, will only provide a sense of fulfillment for a very short space of time. The thing that provides us with meaning and fulfillment is getting out into the landscape, getting out into nature and hopefully being artistic, creating something, doing something, being physically active and hopefully at the end of the day capturing a nice photograph. That's the stuff that matters, that's the stuff we need uh, and I think that is a message that I'm constantly trying to remind myself of uh, and if it sort of feeds through to you as well and inspires you to get out and do your own bit of landscape photography, then all the better for it because <laughs> it is just fantastic. And whilst today has not gone to plan and I wanted to be over there, I didn't need to be over there. I'm gonna be just as satisfied capturing something just here. I mean, I'll show you that image at the end, but I hope you've enjoyed this. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. I love hearing from you. Got great messages last week. I'd love to hear from you again. And uh, if you want to support me, check out my book. But other than that, I will see you on the next video. Bye.